We're into our third video going through one of the subscribers, Ron's 54 day water fasting journey. In the previous videos, Ron detailed his results, how he maintained and even improved on his weight loss as well as his health markers. But now I'd like to explore a bit on the darker side of water fasting. Did he experience any consequences while going through this extended water fast? I'll go ahead and tell you that the answer is yes, but how did they manifest and what was the reason behind them? I'll let Ron tell his experience and then I'll physiologize his experience with an explanation of the mechanisms why. Let's do it. During the fast, the fourth day, fourth, fifth day were probably the worst. Uh, I want to say like it was, that was more than anything that was, it was just a, a war in the mind, you know, it was just, it's like, it, I want, you know, it's, it's a bit weird, but it's like, it's like, I could smell carbohydrates. So it's like, I it's like, I would be outside and I could smell that they were having pizza, seven houses <laughs> across, the, you know, or they were making pasta. I don't know why, right. especially pasta, you know, pizza. It's like, it's like I could smell it from like blocks and blocks away. It was like, so it was just a war of the mind there. As I told you, I had on the seventh day, I kind of, I kind of, I was on, I was sitting on the couch and I kind of got up and I kind of like, I kind of lost consciousness for like a second or two, I want to say, and I woke up again and and I feel that's one of the only consequences I feel like I had. And at that point I was already seven days and that was, um, I just did seven days to just straight water. It was just only water, that's it, nothing else. And that's after that, I started reading up to it more and it's the electrolytes. So I guess the electrolytes, I'm not sure if it's true, but that's one of the, one of the few things the body does not store into into the fat so i started introducing salt and after that i didn't have that problem at all i want to say probably around the same time probably day six or so i did have day six or day five but it went away after i introduced salt was i'm not sure if, if that has to do with the liver you know going deep into ketosis but i did experience some sort of yellow ting in my eye for like a day so what's going on here? There are three main consequences that he experienced. One, heightened sense of smell for food. Two, blacking out. And three, yellowing of his eyes. Let's understand why. He comically mentioned that he could smell food, especially carbohydrates, from many houses down several days into his water fast. That's not a surprise considering there is evidence in the literature that when we are food restricted, our olfactory bulb, which is a section of the front of our brain, becomes more active. As in the neurons, the brain cells that descend from the bulb into the nasal cavity have a lower threshold of activation, meaning they are more sensitive to smell. One of the more worrisome issues is when Ron mentioned that he blacked out. He was unconscious for a few seconds. He then did some research on electrolytes and thought that they might help. He's exactly right. While our kidneys will recycle electrolytes as best they can, if you aren't consuming any, you will see a loss over time. The reason that's an issue is because certain electrolytes, like sodium, offer volume to the bloodstream by attracting water. Since your blood vessels are a certain size, they need to be filled with a certain amount of volume to create sufficient blood pressure. If water is lost from the bloodstream, pressure drops, leading to you passing out. The reason Ron passed out when he stood up is because his blood had pooled in his lower body. So his brain had no blood pressure and knocked him out <laughs> to get him on the level ground, redistributing the blood back across the body, including the brain. It's the same reason when a person with low blood pressure stands up abruptly, they feel lightheaded and might see their vision darken on the sides. The introduction of salt then continues to attract water into the blood, maintaining blood pressure. So he assessed it perfectly. Next, he mentions yellowing of the eyes. 
Now, this is going to take some speculation on my part, but he's not wrong for blaming the liver. Normally, yellowing of the eyes and skin is blamed on the liver for its inability to dispose of old red blood cells efficiently enough. This leads to an excess bilirubin, a molecule created when red blood cells are destroyed. Bilirubin turns skin and eyes yellow, so I can see why someone would be worried about this. And if it persisted, it might be an issue, and it seems that it was transient in Ron. So, why did it happen? Like I said, I'm speculating, but cells also require electrolytes to maintain their shape. If the body has too high or too low of electrolytes, it can cause cells to crumple up or burst as the water follows the electrolytes out and into the cells. Either that or some other reason, so the red blood cells were being destroyed at a pace that may have outpaced what the liver could dispose, thereby increasing the bilirubin levels, turning the eyes yellow. Ron mentioned that the issue never came back when he started consuming electrolytes, so it's possible the electrolytes were necessary to keep the cells in an isotonic state, meaning a happy, healthy state. This is typically a pretty drastic situation, so if it had persisted, it would have been wise to go to a physician. If my mechanism is right, is up for debate, but it was very likely bilirubin that caused the yellowing. Ultimately, water fasting can be done safely and to profound effects, but educating yourself like Ron did is important because while the body is adept at keeping you alive and functional, it's best to keep yourself in the safest scenario by supplying it with what it needs so that it doesn't rely on all these physiological emergency systems alone, like your kidneys reabsorbing electrolytes to keep things going. Also, if you black out, you never know if you'll hit your head on a table or something else more drastic. If you're interested in more water fasting content, then simply join me in my next video. And finally, I'd like to thank Ron for his transparency in sharing his amazing journey. I hope you learned a few things from his experience. Thank you.